فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم When the person realizes that they've misunderstood the textual evidence, it will give them the humility and the humbleness to know that from now onwards, evidences have to be based on the understanding of who? Salafus Salih and the ulama al nasihin Qarna ba'da qarni, generations after generations. And then a person doesn't go out of his way to look at a dalil and an ayah and say, this is what I understood from it. Ibn Taymiyyah used to say everybody who wants to use, his, use a proof two things is what's required from him. What is it that's required from him? It's required from him that what he's using is authentic. And the second thing that is needed from you is the way you've extracted the ruling has to be correct. And none of us here can extract a ruling from an evidence. We are not grounded. We're not scholars. The scholars, that which they know is more than that which they don't know. To encompass everything is for Allah. We, what we know is little compared to what we don't know. The Nusus, they explain each other. You're looking at one ayah. This ayah has been explained somewhere else. How would you know? If this is a general text, that there's a specific there, this is ambiguous. The explaining one is somewhere else. How would you connect those dots unless you started from the front and you finished it to the end? You took it from the Ahlul Ilm. And that, inshallah ta'ala, we're speaking about it in the part when I speak about the Nasa'ih. So what we were saying is ليس كل خلاف جاء معتبرا Not every khilaf that comes is given consideration except the khilaf that has what? له حظ من النظر It deserves to be looked at. Bring it forward. Let's look at this. Some things we just dismiss it. وجوده كعدمه His presence is like his absence. The fact that you said it to us and we've heard it from you will say that we didn't hear anything from you. We don't take it from more than, we don't take it from that gathering and take it somewhere else to explain onto it. Because it's a khilaf tafi. Are you with me? وَلِذَلِكَ كُتُبُ الْحَدِيثِ كُتُبَ فِقْهِ Some khilafat in daradat. It died out. No one talked about it. No one gave it importance. And to show you, my beloved brothers and sisters, the person who uses an argument, every single issue, there's the khilaf in this issue. When there comes a khilaf, is that a delil? Is that proof? Some people use it as a proof. It's a khilaf. Rather, the opposite is what? Take it to the textual evidence. Allah says, وَمَا اخْتَلَفْتُمْ فِيهِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَحُكْمُهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ you have not differed amongst yourself in a matter except the ruling is with who? Allah. فَإِن تَنَازَعْتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرُدُّوهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِ كُنْتُمْ تُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْأَخِرِ We've been told to take it back to who? The kitab and the, the sunnah. We're not allowed to be sticking to the khilaf there. We found the khilaf, okay. Or else every single thing a khilaf can be brought. I can say for instance today, for the sake of argument, I don't consider Sunan and Tirmidhi to be any value. Why? Ibn Hazm said, what is this? Who is Ibn Tirmidhi? Who is Tirmidhi? Ibn Hazm. Allahi rahimahullah. He said, what is Sunan and Tirmidhi? Who is he? Abu Isa at Tirmidhi. Abu Isa. Ibn Sawrah at Tirmidhi. Who is this man? Majhul. La yu'raf. Bal the ulama, they said, it became a harm for him, Ibn Hazm. Nothing went towards Tirmidhi. It became a criticism for Ibn Hazm. The fact that he didn't know Tirmidhi. Who took this khilaf and he considered it? And said, oh, Ibn Hazm is on one side saying Tirmidhi. You see, 
except a person's heart is sick. A person whose heart is sick, who just looks for issues that have khilaf and says this is a khilaf, let's give the khilaf a consideration. This statement of let's give khilaf a consideration justifies the rafidah, the jahmiyyah, the mu'tazila. Why? Why are, you, why are you stopping at a point? Let it open the door. افتح الباب على مصرعي Open the wave and the tide. So the Sabb Uthman and Abu Bakr and Umar is a khilaf. What's a khilaf to you? Difference of opinion? This is difference of opinion. There's a whole state that believes that. Consists of millions of population. Rather, some of the fiqhi issues, the khilaf that are in it, are so minute compared to what? The rafidah. It's a big khilaf. So why do you give them consideration? Are you with me? So as we said, my beloved brothers, the khilaf is not given consideration. It's only the khilaf that has musawwaq shar'i. It has, it has basis. It has what? It's got basis. But I ask those people a question. For sake of argument. If you guys say it's an ijtihadi issue, what did you say? It's an ijtihadi issue. And the person who opposes you, they should not be, not be scolded. Why do you scold us for? Why do you belittle us for? Why do you see us as backward people? When we say elections haram, la yajuz, and we, uh, we bring our opinion forward, why do we get a sabu wa shat from you? If it's to you, mas'al ijtihadiyah, la yunkiru ala al-mukhalif. And the one who opposes you should not be Scolded for. Why are you calling us names? Salafi, Talafi, Khal. Yeah. Why? Why are you giving us those names? If it to you is what? If it's an ijtihad issue. Ya ikhwa, the truth of the matter is, the issue is, Al-Kaylu bi mikyalayn wal waznu bi mizanayn. It's double standards. That's what it is. Use a fancy word and it will get somewhere. Throw something in as the discussion and the dialogue is going. Like, wallahi, when you sit down and you look at it, you realize that they are talking from uh, ignorance and lack of understanding. The next shubha that they bring is, it's a maslaha. And it is maslaha min al masalih al mursala. It's a maslaha from the masalih al mursala. So it enters the chapter of. The response is as follows. Two points. Point number one. Maslaha mursala. Ama masalih al masalih al mursala. It is not an asal min usuri deen alati yu'malu biha. It is not a fundamental evidence that we implement. Rather, it's a means. Whenever the conditions are present, we implement it. Whenever their conditions are absent, we don't implement it. Second point. The definition of al-maslahat al-mursala is anything, no textual evidence has come specifically, specifically this thing at hand. This thing at hand. Specifically, no textual evidence has come Prohibiting it. Neither making it obligatory. It only falls under general, generic foundations. Now I ask you, did the Sharia not come and prohibit us from legislating other than that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down? أَمْ لَهُمْ شُرَكَاءَ شَرَعُوا لَهُمْ مِنَ الدِّينِ مَا لَمْ يَأْذَنْ بِهِ اللَّهِ اتَّخَذُوا أَحْبَارَهُمْ وَرُهْبَانَهُمْ أَرْبَابًا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ يَزْعُمُونَ أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ يَزْعُمُونَ أَنَّهُمْ آمَنُوا بِمَا أُنْزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنْزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ يُرِيدُونَ أَنْ يَتَحَاكَمُوا إِلَى الطَّاغُوتِ وَقَدْ أُمِرُوا أَنْ يَكْفُرُوا بِهِ وَيُرِيدُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَنْ يُضِلَّهُمْ ضَلَالًا بَعِيدًا Allah did he not say one of those verses? 
وما يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فقد استمسك بالعروة الوثقى لم في صعب لها We've got textual evidence now making it haram So bringing you under masalih al-mursala is either one of two reasons You did not know what masalih al-mursala is And you're ignorant about al-masalih al-mursala And you don't know what it is Or you do know and you're lying and you're deceiving the people And as the poet said إن كنت تدري فتلك مصيبة. If you knew that, and you knew what you were speaking was not the way it was, then that is a problem. وإن كنت لا تدري فتلك م. He said, no. وإن كنت لا تدري. If you didn't know, فتلك مصيبة. That is a problem. If you didn't know, that's a problem. And you gave a ruling like that. You didn't even know what what مصالح مرسلة was. And if you knew, وإن كنت تدري. And if you knew and you deliberately deceived the people, you lied. فالمصيبة أعظم. The Muslim is even greater now. It's greater. So we say to those people, you either didn't know, which is very bad, or you didn't know, which is even worse. Which is even <laughs> worse. The issue of the conditions of al-maslaha that is implemented, if time is left, and we get it, we'll mention the conditions for it. If we don't, inshallah ta'ala, you Go and look for the conditions of Maslaha. Now, the next Shubha which they bring is that they say these elections and also these <coughs> um, democratical parliaments that we're going into, some of them becoming MPs and whatnot, they say to you, Ma aradna illa khair. We have not intended except, except khair. We only wanted good. That was our intention. We say to them, وَكَمْ مِنْ مُرِيدٍ لِلْخَيْرِ لَمْ يُصِبْهُ How many people wanted good but never got it? How many people wanted good and never attained it, and never gained it? And what is known, وَمِنَ الْمَعْلُومِ قَطْعًا What is known out of necessity is nothing is accepted by Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala unless two conditions are met. It has to be based on sincerity, which is what you claim you have. And the second one is that it's in accordance to the, the prophetic tradition. It's in accordance to the Prophet's guidance. So what you've fully, what you've come with, and we'll take it from you. We're not going to. We're not going to accuse you of not having sincerity. We'll say to you, "Naam, indak al ikhlas, inshallah taala." Yes, you have sincerity, and you are doing for the sake of Allah. But what you're doing is not in accordance to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sunnah. It is not. He didn't do it. Wala Abu Bakr, wala Umar, wala Uthman. None of them did it. And you're claiming you're getting closer to Allah by doing this. Without having the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. This in the sharia is known as what? Bid'ah. This is known as what? Bid'ah is an innovation. And all of you know the hadith of the Prophet. Man ahadatha fi amrina hadha ma laysa minhu fawaraddun. And the Prophet said, Man amila amalan laysa alayhi amruna fawaraddun. And as you can see, the word man is min al fadl umum, right? It's from the words that show generalization. It means anyone. And it says amalan, action. So whoever comes with any action, whatever the action may be, it's rejected in your face and it is not accepted from you. Rather, the Messenger sallallahu told us. In Allah Hajab at Tawbah, Allah has blocked repentance from who? An kulli sahib bid'ah. Every innovator, hatta yada bid'ah until he leaves his innovation. Bayhaqi narrated this. Al Diyah al Makdisi narrated this. Min hadith Anas ibn Malik. And you know what this means? You know what this means? <coughs> that whenever he repents, are you with me? The repentance is being destroyed by the innovations falling into again. So he's striving to repent. But it is what? 
but that's not that's not the best interpretation. The best explanation is as follows. Are you with me? Repentance is a what? It's action, righteous deed, right? Yeah. And what did the Prophet say? Man amila amal laysa alayhi amruna. Fahuarad. Because you've done when you are repenting, your repentance is only based on sincerity. You're an innovator. The part which was following the Prophet is missing from you. So this righteous actions of repentance is rejected at you. So even that though you're repenting, mardudun ala sahibihi, it is rejected in his face. Because he may repent, okay? In a way that the Prophet didn't repent. Sahih. So that's what the understanding that scholars took from this hadith and how it should be understood. Did the Prophet ever accept from the companions, Wallahi, I only intended good. My intention was good. Did he ever accept that? What did he say to Osama when he killed the man? Was Osama trying to destroy Islam? Was Osama trying to be harmful to the religion? What was Osama's intention? He was doing it for the word of Allah to be what? Hi. The Prophet said to him, did you kill him after he said La ilaha illallah? He said, Ya Rasulullah, this man, in the Makana Muta'awidan, he was only running away from the Mu'ad is in a battle, fighting to destroy Kufr and the Kufar. He's in the middle of a righteous deed. Some of the people today would have come to the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, he left his home, he left his family, he took a riding beast. He got to the battle and he went into heat. He fought for this religion. He put everything. And you're going to hold it for one little, little mistake. One little mistake. Look what the Prophet said, alayhi salatu salam. Ashaqaqta ala qalbihi. Have you opened his chest? Fakayfa tasla'u bi la ilaha illallah. What would you do with la ilaha illallah? Ida ja'at yawm al-qiyamah if it comes to the day of judgment. The Prophet was repeating it. Falam yazil yukarriruha. The Prophet was repeating it. And he was repeating it. Until... This noble companion, Usama. What did he say? Hatta until I wished anni lam akun aslam to illa yawma idin. That I didn't take Islam before that day. That's how much the Prophet made him feel. Alayhi salatu salam. Are you with me, brothers? <coughs> and recently a girl comes up and she insults the hijab. She insults by saying, I find the hijab, the hijab, I find it to be something, eh? What's sad is that those who observed her video and were looking at it, what did they say? What did they say? They only looked at her sincerity. Cross. Allahu Akbar. If Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was hay, yurzak, he was alive and was being provided for today, alayhi salatu wa sallam, wallahi, he would have been in the list of extremists for the Muslims before the kuffar. The Prophet said, Allahumma inni abra'u ilayka mimma sana'a Khalidan. Oh Allah, I free myself from what Khalid did. Khalid went and killed the people. The Prophet said, Allahumma inni, oh Allah, inni abra'u ilayka, I free myself from what Khalid is doing. Nothing to do with it. Usama didn't intend except illa nusra to deen. He only wanted what? Ma'adhalika, the Prophet والسلام, held him account for this. The fact that we just observe sincerity and that the person is sincere and he's more khulis and he's sincere. We look at that. min al It's from the waylat. <coughs> Allah says in the Quran Allah created death and life why did he create it which of you is what is what أحسن عملا. he didn't say أكثركم عملا. أحسن means what the best of actions not the most of actions. Why? It's about quality. Quality. 
how you do it. Hudayfa radiallahu anhu saw a man praying and he said to him, Kam kunta tusalli hakada? How many years were you praying like this? He said, Arba'una sana. I'm Arba'una ama. Forty years I was praying like this. He said, Lo mitta ala hada. If you died on the way you're praying here, La mitta ala milla. You would have died on a religion other than the religion of Abu Qasim. If you died in the way you're praying right now, Lamitta, you would have died on a religion other than the religion of Abu Qasim. Where did he take that from? The man who came to the messenger, alayhi salatu salam, and he said, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. The Prophet said, Irja, fasalli, fa innaka lam tusalli. The Prophet considered his prayer what? Null and void. It didn't exist. Some would have said that the Prophet is looking for people's mistakes. The Prophet is looking for what? He's only checking out the people's mistakes. Why couldn't he see that the man said, Salaam alaikum, he came to the masjid, he, was, he wanted to pray. Why would he say that to him? Yeah? The next point that they bring is that they say we're trying to establish an Islamic government. We're trying to bring about an Islamic government. This now, this shubha, is not something that they all bring. Okay? This is not something they all bring. No, 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 no. This is only brought by who? Some. Some. Others they believe, no, we're not even gonna. Like the one who said that the Turkish leader Erdogan doesn't even have to judge by the Quran and the Sunnah. He remain, He has to stick to the promise that he made and judge the people by the Constitution. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. I seek refuge from Allah, the cursed Shaytan. والله ما يقول هذا. No one says this. حتى I don't believe والله. A mubtadi, a beginner student of knowledge would say that. Let alone من يدعي العلم, someone who claims knowledge. أنا الدراية والفهم. Allah, you wouldn't say that. A beginner won't say that. لكن Allah says in the Quran, وَمَنْ يُرِدِ اللَّهُ فِتْنَتَهُ فَلَنْ تَمْلِكَ لَهُ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيْعَةً أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ لَمْ يُرِدِ اللَّهُ أَنْ يُطَهِّرَ قُلُوبَهُمْ it's a people who Allah wanted to try. Anyone who Allah wants to try him, Allah wa Taala wants to test him. There's nothing you can do for them. Ulaika, those people, Allah did not want to purify their hearts. And for them, the day of judgment is a severe punishment. They fall under the verse of Allah. قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالًا الَّذِينَ ظَلَّ سَعْيُهُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ يَحْسَبُونَ أَنَّهُمْ يُحْسِنُونَ سُلْعًا Shall we tell you? Shall we inform you, O Muhammad? قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالًا The people who are lost in their actions الَّذِينَ ظَلَّ سَعْيُهُمْ They are a people who have spent their lives doing things وهم, but they assumed أنهم يحسنون سرعة that they were doing good they thought they were doing good as Allah said بل بدا لهم Allah says سبحانه وتعالى وبدا لهم من الله ما لم يكونوا يحتسبون it will become clear to them in front of Allah that which they didn't assume would come forward that which they that which they didn't assume and think that would be made, placed in front of them But those who say that we want to establish an Islamic government through this, the first question that you're asked is, if you are trying to establish an Islamic government, and you're trying to bring it about, why don't you start by rejecting election and democracy, first of all? 
start by that and then we will accept the notion and the argument that you are trying to establish an Islamic government. Unless you have the secular opinion, which is that the, 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 the religion is exclusive to the masajid. It has no entering into politics. Islam has nothing to do with uh, politics. We don't say this. Unless you believe that, then of course to you it would mean that I'm establishing Islamic government would mean that democracy can be used and let that be. This is a dawran. It brings you back to what you affirmed. It brings you back to the issue of democracy itself, which is a secular system. This, my beloved brothers and sisters, is really something that the person who is saying it doesn't really understand the textual evidence. The reason is because Allah told the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, this person, what is he saying? This individual, what is he saying? He's saying, let me sir, say I, I'll accept the election from them. This is called what? Surrendering. Partial surrendering. Sah. And then, let me go into the system. And we've never seen, except they surrender more and more and more and more and nothing's left. As Allah says, Don't accept the first step from shaitan. Forget the third or fourth. Don't accept these footsteps that he's putting you through. <coughs> Also Allah said to the Prophet, they are close. To test you, Muhammad, and try you in what? In the revelations that we sent unto you. They want to do it bit by bit. Do you think the kuffar want to change you all once? Or they want to do it bit by bit? Have you asked yourself this question? Oh, they want to do it gradually. They want to do it slowly. They want to do it bit by bit by bit. Allah tells us, Allah. Judge the people by that which Allah has sent you. Be cautious of them. And yaftinuka an ba'di. Be cautious. For them to what? To test you and to get you and slide, take you away. An ba'di. Some of that which I have sent you on. So they'll start with some. Cut your bid. Leave this issue of al wala wal bara. Come on, let's hold hands. Let women sit. Come on, stop being too extreme. And as you let go one after the other, and you let go of after one, of one after the other, you see yourself in a mist of oceans. And that's the reality. <coughs> 